my intro. Uh, um, uh, hey guys, by the way, I'm FC Movements, otherwise known as Adithia, but it's... Subscribe to the channel in the next three seconds. For real, today I'm going to teach you guys how to hit a curveball. Uh, I'm sorry guys, but I just won't have a transition for this video because I couldn't think of one or find one, so, yep, sorry. I, I just won't have one. What was that for? Thanks. Now let's get into the basics. Uh, so if you don't know what a curveball is, it's really simple. We just in the name. It's just a ball that like curves. But it's not like a specific type of ball. You gotta kick it into what is called a curveball. Now that we know what a curveball is, let's get into the steps. First, you'll need to know what type of ball you'll need to use. This ball right here, it's heavy. Oh, oh, sight. Okay, it's not that heavy. But we're not gonna need this. <laughs> Please excuse me while well, I'll have to go get that. So as I said before, we're not going to want a heavy ball, but we are going to need a lighter ball, somewhat like this. So let's get started. After you end up doing all the steps like I'm about to teach you, it should end up a little bit like this. step we're gonna work on using our foot more specifically we're gonna work on using the floor to the foot so the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna check your foot when you look at your foot you're gonna want to see all the little people Bye. So the part of your foot you're gonna want to use when you kick a curveball is the strongest part of the foot now you might be thinking that's your shoe part or your heel but the actual strongest part is right here when you kick a curveball, it depends on where you're kicking it. So, if you're kicking it from about there to this goal, and you're going to want to do curveball, then you're going to need to use this part the most. Now, how are you going to do that? Well, you're going to do this by swinging. And that brings us to step number two. When you swing, you're going to want to add a lot of power, because that's what a swing does. So, when you swing, you're going to want to Part of your foot, and it's gonna give you a nice solid curveball. But keep in mind, that's not it. You're gonna want to go to step three, too, which is in fact the part of the ball you're gonna want to kick. If you want a nice and solid curveball, you're gonna want to kick it on its lightest end. So if you're gonna kick it and it's gonna go and you're standing here and you want it to curve inwards, then you're gonna want to kick it right about here because that's what's gonna give it that nice curve when it goes in. Now, sand goes for outside. It's just the opposite. If you're going to want a nice inward curveball, then you're going to want to kick on this end, which is the outward end. Now, if you're right-footed or left-footed, because if you're trying to go for an outward kick and you kick this end, then and you're left-footed, it's going to go inwards, which is not what you're trying to get.